I'm Margaret Brennan in Washington, and this week on Face the Nation, the pomp and pageantry of the opening act of the Senate impeachment trial of President Trump are complete. The cast is set as prosecutors, defenders, jurors, and judge prepare for their roles in what is only the third impeachment trial in American history. But the question of whether there will be witnesses in the trial and who the witnesses might be will likely be delayed until Act One is over. It was an unusually subdued Senate as the gravity of a presidential impeachment trial set in last week. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. All persons are commanded to keep silent on pain of imprisonment. Do you solemnly swear that in all things appertaining to the trial, you will do impartial justice according to the Constitution? Ceremony and over, political posturing is well underway. House impeachment managers, the prosecutors, will open their case early this week. It's a now familiar one, charging the president with abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. There is an overwhelming case. Beyond any reasonable doubt, the president betrayed the country. The defense team, led by White House counsel Pat Cipollone and Trump attorney Jay Sekulow, has some new recruits, including high-profile celebrity defender Alan Dershowitz and former Clinton prosecutor Ken Starr. They say the House passed articles of impeachment are constitutionally invalid and that the effort is a brazen and unlawful attempt to overturn the 2016 election and interfere with 2020. We'll preview the Senate trial with a top House prosecutor, Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler, and Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn. We'll also look into the impact of the new revelations from Rudy Giuliani associate Lev Parnas. He's under indictment for campaign finance charges, but is implicating the president directly in efforts to push Ukraine into investigating Hunter Biden. President Trump knew exactly what was going on. Then former White House economic advisor Gary Cohn joins us for a rare interview, weighing in on President Trump's economic record and what 2020 Democrats should be talking about when it comes to the economy. All that and more is just ahead on Face the Nation.